desires for us to have an encounter with him that will affect our lives and the things that we set out to do, even in relationships. When you're looking for the right man or woman, you will find that the Lord knows how to reveal to you the right man or the right woman. And the Holy Ghost is there, too, to pray for you. And when y'all become united as one, it's something, it's a, it's a beautiful thing when you can have a woman there that's praying for you, a man there that's praying for her, and for y'all to be bonded like that, to be able to pray for each other, and for the Lord to be able to reveal to you, oh, that's not the one. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that's not the one. I've given y'all many t uh, examples, and I'm going to give y'all this and I'm done, when dealing with uh, the encounter. After I had an encounter with the Lord, um, I have never forget uh, the time that before I had this encounter with God, there was a young lady who I was interested in. I always I've told y'all that story. And she was my boss. And uh, I wanted to get with her. This is before I was fully saved. And I told her, man, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm about to get my, my, my refund from the school. I'm going to go ahead and get this picnic basket. I'm going to cook some food. I'm going to put it in a basket. I'm going to get some, some Gerald Levert. Like some of y'all don't know what I'm about. I'm going to get some Gerald Levert. I'm going to have her come over, put some candles in there, put a little Gerald Levert made to love you on, this, this, and that. She's going to come in. I'm going to look at her. I'm going to let you know this and that. You know what I mean? I came in there, was breaking it down. And during this time, I was on the road to salvation, to being saved. And ultimately, this woman was a distraction. She had an attitude problem, and I was just like, I was just dismissing all that stuff. I was saying, man, all I need to do is bring her to Bible study, get the Bible study teacher to give me a thumbs up. Hey, man, she cute. You this and that. Y'all might mesh. Y'all spiritually, y'all compatible. She had the Holy Ghost and everything. I'm like, okay, I, I'm about to get it. But my whole focus was on her, and there was so many people around me that were letting me know. They wouldn't even. They didn't even know the Lord. You need to let that girl go. And um, I finally, you know, as time went on, some things happened, and she ultimately ended up wanting to date somebody else. It just didn't work out. I was mad, like, man. And I come to find out later on that she was a distraction from what God had for me. And after I received the Holy Ghost, T.D. Jakes came out with a record later on that on the way to your destiny, the devil will send people your way and will anoint them to bring you down. She was not the one for me. She was sent by the enemy to be a distraction from what God had for me and what he would want to do in my life. Because he had an encounter he wanted me to have that would impact the lives of other people. And so he didn't want that distraction to get in the way. And he knew what to do and what people to send my way to let me know, dude, you need to leave her alone. And then he started messing with my money. Y'all know, God started messing with your money. That'll get your attention real fast. He knocked that refund down from $3,000 to $1,000. Then he knocked it down to $800. And I said, Lord, I repent. I'm going to leave this girl alone. I ain't going to talk to her. I'm going to leave her alone. She is not the one for me. And I, come to, I came to find out why that is so significantly important with being compatible with people. And why that Holy Ghost was so important. Because the Lord revealed to me then. It's like, dude, look at all the stuff that I have call for you to do and had you got distracted by her she was not the one for you from the get-go she had some red flags that we're going to talk about tomorrow and, and some of y'all heard about the red flags but some red flags that you have to look out for when you're dealing with dating and relationships when you're looking for somebody who you're looking to marry and so we're going to jump into that, to that tomorrow but i wanted to talk about this because it's something that's critical and that's important um, dealing with the Holy Ghost. So I wanted to encourage you guys with that today about the encounter. If you have any questions about that, about the Holy Ghost, um, feel free to come down and talk to me. Um, I always want to take time every year to talk about the Holy Ghost. We've had a number of people. Uh, like I said, I mentioned uh, my boy Isaac who has received he received the Holy Ghost in this very Bible study room right over there. Jonathan was one who was standing right here. I laid hands on him. He received the Holy Ghost right there. I was one of four who received the Holy Ghost City right here in, by, in August 3rd, 2006 at about 10.30 p.m. I'll never forget it because I wasn't even seeking it that night. I was praying for somebody else to get it. And a girl sitting right here received the Holy Ghost. And I was praising God for her. And all of a sudden I had to go to the bathroom really, really bad. And something told me to sit there. And I just started worshiping God. And I just felt my heart broke. And the Holy Ghost came in immediately. I felt it immediately. 
And as soon as I felt it, I opened up my mouth and I started speaking in tongues. And there was a, a guy who had never been taught. And it was a dude who walked in. He had never been taught about the Holy Ghost. He, he grew up in the same church that I did. And he came down like, hey, I pray for it while I'm here. They started praying for him. Boom, he was filled with the Holy Ghost, laid flat out right here. Never been taught about it. Then there was a girl who didn't even grow up in church. But she came and was convicted by the message. They laid hands on her. She received the Holy Ghost. All four of us received it that night in this very Bible study room. And there's been so many. Up at Wright State, 30 students in one night received the Holy Ghost. It started falling so fast that they got out the way. And then they went up to somebody's uh, apartment and baptized all 30 of them in somebody's uh, uh, tub. They said, dude, we want to be baptized tonight in Jesus' name. And they started a revival and uh, 200 students up at Wright State. It just broke out like wildfire up there. And that's how the six campuses came about from this one that spread about and infected Miami, Xavier, NKU, and all the campuses. Because the Holy Ghost was falling and people were being filled. Uh, because God wanted people to have an encounter who had been taught. And so we see in the Word of God how important it is not only to receive that Holy Ghost, but to be witnesses for Christ Jesus, because God has so much more for us. So I want to encourage you guys today uh, with this encounter to uh, not only continue to be witnesses of the Lord, but if you have any questions about the Holy Ghost, um, if you've not received it and you want to get prayer to receive the Holy Ghost, we can definitely pray for you tonight, because like I said, it is the greatest experience you will ever have besides the rapture. That's going to be the greatest experience. But it's, it is the greatest experience you will ever have on this earth. I will never forget that experience I had receiving the Holy Ghost. Didn't nobody lay hands on me, nothing. I was sitting right here when I received the Holy Ghost. And that let me know that this gospel, that this Jesus was more real. It let me know that this thing is real. It's not just for show. It's something that's real. And Jesus uh, lives in me and he talks to me he guides me he walks with me he does those things he gives me warnings about things and it shows how much he loves me and how much he loves all of us so i want to encourage you guys today with this message and i want to encourage you guys to come out tomorrow uh for the event tomorrow amen amen, amen. let's give god a hand <laughs> <laughs>